Now we're going to demonstrate our low back exercises. Again, very simple, quick, easy to do, require no equipment. If you can, get you a video DVD of uh, yoga and follow that. But short of that, these are some nice, quick, easy to do exercises that you can do every day in your own home. First we're going to demonstrate a crunch. Most of you know that, but just as a review, we're going to do a crunch two different ways. We have two methods that we do a crunch. One, Sherry, method one is we're just going to reach up, arms outstretched, and curl up to the knee. That is 100% contraction of the abdominal muscles, and that's all we're after. So give us about four or five of those. Going to do those crunches. Now we're going to, Sherry's going to demonstrate a, a butterfly crunch. We like the butterfly crunch because it puts a little extra weight up here on this end with your arms up here and it, it also exercises the upper back and rib cage as you, uh, as you do this. We feel like if you're uh, exercising here you might as well get this other end as well. So give us about four or five butterfly crunches, Sherry. You'll see that she's, when she's doing that, the rib cage, the upper back, is all being exercised there. And this is a lot better than just curling up like mm, so many people do with crunches. I like the butterfly crunch. The next, that's good, the next uh, version we have is the reverse crunch. And to show you that, Sherry's going to lift her hips. Place her hands like so, down at the base of her tailbone, arms length down. And when she does that, she'll feel her back flatten on the table. So with your hands under your pelvis and your tailbone, it'll cause your back to go against the floor of the table. And that's where you want to be. The starting position is with your knees at 90 degrees, straight up. You pull up and you end at 90 degrees. You do not go past 90. You do not take your feet to the floor. You do not straighten your legs out. You keep your knees bent, pull up, and stop at 90 degrees there. The higher you go, the more you stretch your back. Now, good, thank you. The, the regular crunch that we showed you at first works the upper 70% of the abdominal muscles. The reverse crunch works the lower 70% of the abdominal muscles. So you can see you get a lot of lot in the middle and um, this works the entire abdom, abdomen, abdominal muscles and does a great job of stretching the low back. Yes, you will feel it down there and it might even hurt. It will not tear. If, if you're in extreme pain in the low back, you may just start with a little pumping action down there. Nothing more than this. That may be all you can do, and you just keep doing that until you can do more and more and more. So uh, uh, movement is good. If you're really hurting in that low back, get some ice on it. Get started with this reverse crunch. Just a little movement, get it started. Start getting it loosened up. Get and get in. Give me a call and get in just as soon as you can. Our last exercise for the low back is what we call the dolphin. And uh, again, a very simple quick, easy to do exercise, but it's very effective. I highly recommend that you do this every morning. The first thing when you get up is you get up, if your back is tight and stiff after your night's sleep, you get up and you do this dolphin. A minimum number is 35. If you're not doing 35 or more, don't even bother. Get up, do 35, 50, 60, 80 of these. Get your back stretched out for the morning. You will be better all day and you'll be better tomorrow. These back exercises that we're showing you, you will know that when you've done them, you'll know the next day that you're better. You'll see that your back improves as you're doing them. And doing them today will make you better for today, and it'll also make you better for tomorrow and the next day. Miss a couple or three days, you'll know. It. So this exercise is the dolphin. And we call it the dolphin because you kind of feel like you're swimming like a dolphin when you do it. So we stand with your feet uh, uh, a little past shoulder width apart. You can bend your legs if you need to. And you bend forward at the way. You, excuse me. Let's start over. Sorry. <laughs> you, you, uh, that was my fault. You, you'll, kind of, you'll bend and bend your chin to your chest and come forward. 
and you'll bend as far forward as you can, as you can, keeping your head down like this, and then as you, before you come up, you'll bring your head up and your shoulders back and come on back up. So let's do about four or five of those and let's see how it looks. Stop right there. As you, as you pull the shoulders, the head back and the shoulders back, what you're doing here is locking all these muscles out. They've already done their work. When you come up now, the only thing left to bring you up is your low back. So you're isolating the low back to strengthen those low back muscles. A couple more. If you, when you bring your chin down to your chest, you're doubling or tripling the stretch on your low back. If you don't bring your chin down, you don't get as much stretch on the low back. Now, um, there may be times when you wake up in the morning and you can't bend like that. There will be times. And what I suggest is, and, and many times I've had mornings where we're, it's, that's, this is it. That's as far as you go. And that's okay. You just do what you can. And give me about three or four of those, just barely. I mean, if you can't even go that far, you just do what you can. Get your back moving and work it out and do maybe a hundred of these or 150. They're easy to do. You can do 150 of these with not without panting and no sweat. So the important thing is get that back stretched out, get it moving. I don't care how sore it is. I don't care how much it hurts. This will not hurt your back. We've used it for years without a problem. And uh, this, this is a great way to get up in the morning, get your back loosened up, and get going with the day. And if, you're, if you can't bend any further than that, I will be expecting a phone call from you today.